We're gonna stir it up. Little darling, what we're gonna stir up today, Mr. Mac? It's the Kaka Mac show. We're gonna stir it up with a big wooden spoon. I've not even read my notes yet. Notes, notes. Well, everybody, it's 24 degrees here in Nottingham in the UK today, which is very, very nice indeed. So summer's finally here, isn't it? Apparently so. We'd just like to say hi to uh, hi. Alan. Yes, hi. Alan. I was last night. <laughs> <laughs> Alan from New Zealand. Yep. You know who you are. You know who you are, Alan. We won't give you your family name as well, but we were having a good chat to Alan in his office the other day. And uh, very nice to meet you, Alan. He's told us some really interesting stuff that's going on out there. Yeah, we've got contacts all over the planet, mm. which is really cool. So thanks, Alan. Alan's also invited us to um, Auckland. The trouble is, it's about 28 hours, and it's on the other side of this particular planetary game sphere. Still, I suppose we could teleport there using teleportation mind mm. devices. Yes. Can we? Yeah, well, you can remote viewing. That's what remote, it is. Viewing. remote viewing. But he's got a lovely swimming pool, and also he's got a shotgun and a crossbow in case the bears come out of the forest. <laughs> but yeah, what, what did the New Zealand government say about it? They've told him he can't have his uh, his other weapons at all now. So <laughs> yeah, you, you can't have your game weapons with invisible or vanish <laughs> vanishing shells. Vanishing shell, empty <laughs> shell cases. Do you know it was Max Egon that said about those shell cases? You know the the movie director. He said, uh, oh, because of the bitrate of that film with that mosque shooter. Um, and he actually, in one of his videos, he points it, points to one, and he says, that suspense shell, the reason why you you saw them vanishing, because it's a low bitrate. Oh, I'm like, that's a, and I, it's a leaf. Normally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree with what Max Egan says, but on this occasion, he's totally wrong. So we're on the subject of... Um, conspiracies I suppose yes and it's not a conspiracy theory this one because well if it was a theory it'd be a bit of a thought and a guess mm. so we've um, managed to receive some information this is about Notre Dame and what um, Macron's been up to yes with his failing presidential uh, candidacy well it's utter criminality to the French people it's the yes it's good friday today mm. so well, 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 why is it called good friday i don't know because we give egg, easter eggs to each other but isn't that when the jesus supposed to have died he was crucified on good friday yes what makes it good then uh well that's the mind control you see because um we're all being crucified he is us. Ah. That's what the phonetics mean. And we're all being crucified. We'll talk about the, the Golden Cross of Hope, which they found in Notre Dame. Oh, the roof burnt, jolly as it did, and everything else. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> Meanwhile. So, Good Friday. What a coincidence. And over a billion has been donated. A billion? A billion, yeah. eh? Well, I'll go over this word for word, because I've made some notes in my notebook. It's not a script. Script! Script! <laughs> Where is script? So, welcome to Kak and Mac Show, everybody. We love you. So, here we go. So, Notre Dame, Our Lady, which we found out is actually... It should really be named Lucifer, mm. because it's the, the building of the devil. So there was this fire that happened the other day in a form of a cross that we mentioned, yeah? And that, that could signify the, the end of Christianity. Or the fire of hell. Mm. Have you noticed, you always get the Christian buildings which are saved. If, if the US government's military or the British government go up and blow up a mosque in Kabul. Well, actually, in, in the thing I did this morning, it, I've got a picture of um, uh, 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 an even older area in Aleppo. Um, that has been bombed to pieces and that was even older than uh, Notre Dame and of course the world says nothing because it's it's in Syria and apparently the Syrians are all horrible nasty people that want to keep their own land. Do you know what's really cool about Syria? There was... Um, the weather? It's very warm there. Well you've got Obama and Bush and Hillary Clinton amongst a load of others and then you've got David Cameron and who else has vanished recently at the British government? Oh, yeah. Uh, Osborne, and they all said, Assad must go, Assad must go, Assad must go, Assad must go, Assad and must go. They've gone, they've gone, they've, they've, they've gone, gone, they've gone, they've gone, gone, and Assad is still there. What does that tell you? 
So anyway, apparently the fire was started deliberately. This is Notre Dame. This is Notre Dame. There's video, I mentioned to you earlier, there's videos come out now from a remote, remote camera, uh, like a webcam type thing, and you can see a guy moving around where the fire started. You said he was Muslim, but is it, you no, meant no, you to say that he's, he's dressed like a Muslim. That, no, that's the other one where you see the two of them, what one's walking across the balcony and go, yeah, dressed like Muslim. They okay, were. so dressed in could, traditional Could have been, clothes. could have been British Secret Service agent just dressed up like a Muslim. Could have been a priest, because you know the dresses they wear, yeah, that's the yeah, man inside been. the woman. Could have been. But this, I'll uh, watch those. This footage that came out recently is from a the camera. You can't see very clearly. You can see the f a figure moving about, but you can't distinguish anything. But there is a glint that comes off every now and again, like he's got a, a steel can of maybe petrol in his hand or something like that. That's a little bit bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be really interesting tomorrow. Oh, yes. So, yeah, this Easter weekend, it's the resurrection, so where uh, Jesus Christ risen from the dead. That's so, zombieism. So, you're, I, I, this is what I reckon's going on here. I reckon uh, Macron has deliberately burnt the tower, uh, Notre Dame Cathedral down. That, be yeah. Because, uh, like the, the Phoenix, he's going to try and raise it, just like Thatcher did with the Falklands. She was, she was what wanted out, everyone wanted her out. The Falklands war was manufactured and suddenly everyone's behind her because, you know, we're, we get behind each other when yeah, it's something unite like that. Yeah, for the sake of the, uh, the nation. And, and as you can see with Notre Dame, everyone's got behind. Yeah, yeah, we'll donate money, 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 money. Even, so it, it would seem that this is Macron's go at um, reincarnation. Uh, it is, the phoenix out of the flames, just yes. like you say. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we were speaking to a friend chef the, the other day. We won't mention his name or where he works, but he's um, he was born in Paris, Paris. And uh, I said, "What do you think to uh, what's gone at Notre Dame?" And he says, "Emmanuel Macron to save his uh, political career because all the yellow vests are against him, and they were literally burning Paris to the ground and smashing it up." He decided to stay one step further and illuminate that roof in a and then tell everybody to unite. First of all, are there any coincidences? No, there are no coincidences, there are no accidents. So when they took those 16 statues oh, down... this is what we're going to talk about. <laughs> 16 statues were removed from Notre Dame four days before they set it on fire. Oh, and of course, priceless, priceless artefacts art. inside were removed because of the scaffolding. The so-called cross of thorns that he is us, yes, and we're all being yes. crucified, that Jesus wore. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? So, so that was just thorns. That would have been 2,000-year-old thorns. Those bush. golden statues were made of copper, and they were on the roof. Yes. And they found the, is it the phoenix that was on top of the spire? Mm -hmm. There was a phoenix on there. They found it in the... Ashes. <laughs> you can't make this crap up, Macron. You can't make this shit up. Seriously. So over a billion has been don donated, and it's a lot of it's been donated, and we were talking over lunch, by Petrochemical. Yes. Executives pledge millions. Hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions. And these were of uh, Exxon Mobil, Mo Exxon... Texaco. Uh, and Total. Total is one of the, the French ones. They had the CEO of uh, Total Petrochemicals donated like 200 million. I don't see him donating it to that mosque in Kabul, do you? What, or, or the Grenfell Tower. Oh yeah, there was no we, money we, for that or yeah, even the people Over 400 that died. Oh, 78 according to the government, of course. We've got rich billionaires out there that have donated trillions to, to, uh, to, to rebuild a wooden roof. Exactly. All of a stone building. All we that, saved the building. It's all that actually it burnt was the wood. Just the wood. So in how's a controlled it, way. What, what, how's that going to cost a billion euros? It simply isn't. It's another scam. Well, Macron says he's going to rebuild it within five years. So you're going to get another four to five uh, years of Mac of his presidency. That's what he thinks. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in Paris tomorrow. Yes, Saturday. Maybe Macron got the idea from treasonous May. Treason yeah. May with the Grenfeld. Feld. Oh, Feld. It, each piece of that roof was one tree. And when you cut a tree down, you fell it, don't you? Mm. Timber! Says Macron. Notre Dame is now the world's biggest tourist attraction. What about that? So they're going to clear Paris of the protesters against the government. So they can Wouldn't get that make it a dictatorship again. if they're not allowing you to protest because you're not happy <laughs> with the government? <laughs> you're dead right, my friend. That's exactly what it is. Do you know, Nor Nostradamus actually made a, a, pre a future prediction that the uh, Notre Dame would burn. Mm. 
maybe Macron's got a copy of his predictions. <laughs> you know, is this a work of genius? Because I think it's an absolute work of genius. It's not. I don't think it's come from him though. He hasn't got the brains for that. He's just a, a yes. Somebody's man. come up with this. Yeah, and one of the absolute Rothschilds. Genius, yeah, genius. Yeah. Somebody, a political advisor. You know, like Jacinda Ardern. She used to advise Blair. And there's that awful man with the white moustache, John Bolton, mm. that Trump has put in the swamp, and he's his political advisor of the warmongers. Um, so, yeah, Notre Dame. All the artwork was removed, the statues removed, the copper ones, like you said. It took four days before the burning. Easter, resurrection, you know, the Passover. So it's all... Everything's risen from the ashes. He is risen. And we've gone over this before, something different this year. Because we normally talk about zombies. There is another bit of interesting information that I saw on RT's uh, website the other day. The EU Parliament have given Julian Assange an award for literacy, for <laughs> journalism. What does that tell you? Well, if, what, since you've mentioned Assange, let's put it like this. What sort of a world are we living in when someone that has put the truth out the there, truth. exposing corruption, is locked up, while those that are per per perpetrating the corruption are lauded as presidents, prime ministers, and basically all other evil shits? Well, I've got a little quote from you from a new book that I've got, and it's got beautiful colours on it. Look at all those chakras. And it's by Carla Rukert. Page 14. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, can't get my words out. And this is from the channelings of We of Quo. That's like the status quo. And they ask a question, and it says, If humankind doesn't wake up soon enough and choose to live differently and realise that we're all one, is the end near for all of us? I think that means wake up now. You've been in your slumber for far too long. It's now time to... Realise who you really are and what you really are. Lift the veil of forgetting. <laughs> it's a bit of a shock. Sacre bleu. Anything to add? Yep. Oh. We love you, whether you like it or not. <laughs>